actually a dog's tail, also called a dog's life, you know, depending on which territory, and over here, a dog's tail. It, it, it's it's so exciting on so many different fronts. One, it's a Richard Gere movie. Two, it's a dog movie, and I love both Richard Gere and dogs. When I was sit, when I uh, went to the screening, I sat there next to James King, who twittered as the lights went down. Mark Kermode is ex exceptionally excited about this film because he said to me, "You're excited about this." I said, "I'm really because I I genuinely really really like Richard Gere movies, and I genuinely because you've seen the poster. Have you seen the poster? But Richard Gere, yeah, he's got his U certificate smile on. Yeah, he's got his U certificate smile on, and the dog has got its you know." Oh, cutest dog. And so anyway, it looks very cute. Now here's there's a couple of problems. Shall I play you a clip of it first? Or should I tell you? I'll tell you a little bit about the story. No, no, I think I'd like a clip first. Okay, here's a here's a clip which kind of to some extent explains where we're going with this film. Okay, here we go. No ordinary dog, Parker. No, it's a uh, Akita or Akita, as you say. It's a very special breed. Yeah. What is that? Hachi. What? It's a Japanese raid. Number of good fortune. Oh, good fortune. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Hachi. Hachi. Oh, that's a good name. I like that. Well, he might have been born eighth in the litter. Oh, spiritual significance, the number eight reaches up to heaven, comes down to earth. Hmm. So what do you think? You want him? Me? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think he's made his choice. Meaning what? Well, meaning he's your problem, not mine, brother. <laughs> You're not a problem, are you? Well, whether you found him or he found you, who's to say? It's meant to be. Now, it would be very easy to mock. Yeah, I mean, that was a bit dull, I thought. What, what really? That whole clip was a bit dull. That was one of the more exciting moments from the really? movie. Really, it's uh, it's unfilmed. Well, it's it? unfilmed. The Lasse Hellstrom, and it would be very easy to mock. Um, I'm Lasse, not Lassie Hellstrom. Lassie Hellstrom. Lasse Hellstrom. Lasse is just a good name. Oh, I see Lassie yeah, Hellstrom yeah. because it's a dog's tail. Do you see what you did there? You made his name sound like a dog. Yeah, but you made it. You just picked up the comedic crowbar and you, and you battered you, that you, joke into submission. It. Okay, I can't so, smile too much because my face because will your crack. face will I'm fall. Still waiting okay. for Jason Isaacs to say hello. I'm Jason. Isaacs. Here's both the uh, the triumph and the problem with Hachi, a dog's tail. Is as I was watching at the beginning, I thought this is lovely. It's lovely, right? It's Richard Gere doing the thing that he does, which is being avuncular. Now he's very good since he's gone grey. He's become terrifically avuncular, and he, he and he avuncles really so well. So he doesn't drop his trousers in this film. No. Well, he, he hasn't dropped right. his trousers in Chicago. I hope you're not talking about me. Good evening, gentlemen. Jason Isaacs, as I live and breathe. Thank oh. the good Lord for that. We no. were locked, but we weren't bonded, apparently. But we were connected, but we hadn't zapped. Or stay, something. stay where you are, Mr. Isaacs. I just wonder, if, were you going to were you going to conclude here on? Well, the, do you mind, Jason? Do you have to dash off, Go or can you it. stay? Absolutely not. Fine. I'm here okay. forever. Okay. So, since I'm in the Richard Gear moment, okay. So let me do it. So the thing is, as I was saying, you know, he is. He does have a sort of charming grey head of uncular quality, which I which I really like. And I'm sitting there watching the thing, thinking, uh, this is really nice. It's Joan Allen, who's a terrific actress. It's Richard Gere, who I just love watching, despite the fact that all he ever does is blinks and exhales. And it's cute dog. And I'm thinking, great, take the kids along. You know, he just his, blinks and exhales. That's all he does. That's, that's his, it. It's his whole acting. He squints as well. He, he squints, blinks and exhales. That's what he does. That's what Richard Gere did. But that, okay, fine. Don't be. That's know, depth. That's depth. That is an depth. Actor. Yeah. Sometimes he does it together, and that's that's real depth. But then what's Could he do it is, while jumping out of a helicopter? I'm sure he could. If you compare this to Marley and Me, which is an absolutely horrible film, which, as I said, is less fun than having a real dog put down, this is a masterpiece. This is Citizen Kane. This is all the things that Marley and Me isn't. But the problem with it is, is that it's saccharine sweet and lovely in a kid's film. And, and But since I didn't know anything about the story of Hachiko before I went in to see the film, I didn't know that the story of one man and his dog has not one, but two tragic denouements. So what I would say about it is this. Although it's very, very easy to mock, the main problem with it is that if you're going to take along, you know, young kids who are sensitive, as I was planning to do, please be aware that there are two. I mean, I was in floods, genuinely in floods. Well, that doesn't mean twice. anything. No, no, but it does mean something. And I was in floods for two reasons. Firstly, because when the first tragic thing happened, I thought, oh, well, that's that's. Oh, that's okay. a spoiler. I thought, no, I'm no. not going to say what it is. Of course, thought, it's a spoiler. The, obviously, there are dogs dying all over the place. No, no, no. Clearly. That's no, Jason. No, well, that's not. The that's then not the people it. People are dead. That's not. Right. It. People die. Well, it, okay. okay. I'm, I'm guessing. I haven't seen the film. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a spoiler because I'm guessing. In the put it this way, either the drop dogs, in the share price. Is in it? the case of Marley and Me, right? Had what happens in? I'm trying so hard not to give this away. All I'm saying well, is, you failed. If you're no, I haven't because you don't know what it is that happens. If you're a parent and you 
fancy taking your kid to a movie that's got Richard Gere and cute dogs in it, please be aware that, that one both of them you... doesn't make it to the end. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not that one of them doesn't make it to the end. So oh, okay, no. okay, maybe. maybe. Okay, so it's all an, I'm it's saying an is apocalyptic. It's, it's an apocalypse. apocalypse. So there's a total apocalypse. It's a dog apocalypse. It's dog apocalypse. <laughs> pow. Okay, dog apocalypse. <laughs> bow wow is what it is. <laughs> That's actually what we should call it. Dog apocalypse. Bow wow. And so. Despite the fact that Richard is blinking and exhaling and being grey in a way which I really like, and despite the fact that, uh, frankly, I will watch almost any movie in which cute dogs are cute, because, I, you know, I just love dogs, I just was thinking, I so wish... That, but, having said that, yes. I like... This is clearly the centre of the story. The story is, because this is why Richard is suited for it, because he's such a Buddhist, it's a story about devotion. And it is a story which... You know, we were talking about the depiction of heaven in uh, Lovely Bones... It is a story in which, in which the afterlife, shall we say, is invoked. Is invoked quite, quite heavily. The afterlife is invoked because but there now is. Now I'm picturing Richard and a dog skipping down a heavenly beach after they've been wiped out by some terrible disaster. And you know the funny thing is that actually that scene wouldn't be out of place in Hachi, <laughs> a dog. And now that you say it, I'm sure Lassa is beating his head in the wall, thinking, "Why didn't I think of that?" So what I'm saying is, it's not terrible. It's just heartbreaking. <laughs>